Yeah, that's right. Uh, tonight, Pat, I can tell you that this block behind me is still locked down. The suspect we have learned tonight is Jose Mesa. And according to the coroner, he lived in the home where he was killed. At the scene of the charred ruins of this San Gabriel home, sheriff's investigators spent the day searching for explosives. It meant keeping some neighbors away as the bomb squad did its work. Are they on my property? Uh, yes. That suspect definitely inside that house right now. Friday's investigation came less than 24 hours after a chaotic and deadly standoff. Definitely a gun. Where a suspect set homes on fire and reportedly shot at sheriff's deputies. He was killed in the melee. It's not clear if he shot himself or if deputies shot him. The back door just opened. More fireworks coming out of the back of the back of the house. During the hours long standoff, the suspect set off fireworks and lit fires that spread to three buildings. All of this started with a call to police yesterday at noon from a family member of the suspect who said he had a gun. This man says the suspect was his cousin and that leading up to yesterday's incident, he was having trouble. I mean, we all got some ups and downs. I mean, we all have problems. We all have problems. But it's just, I mean. It's very devastating. I mean, you know, a young man, you know, gone and, you know, his go home. It's very devastating. It's a sad moment for the neighborhood. It was a sad moment for the family. And neighbors today also telling us they have so much praise for law enforcement and for firefighters for keeping them safe in such a dangerous and volatile situation. Reporting live in San Gabriel, I'm Tom Waite, CBS 2 News.